Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am doing another kind of first reaction slash overview on uh, the veterinarian official gameplay trailer. Now I've waited all day to watch this because I didn't have time to record because we had some TV guys be here for seven plus hours. But anyway, I'm not gonna be bitter about that any longer. And we're gonna go ahead and get into the trailer because oh, I'm just so excited because Oh, I can't. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and watch it. I'll do an overview at the end like I did with the last trailer that we watched. Uh, I think it was last week um, or two weeks ago now. I don't remember, but here we go. In The Sims 4, cats and dogs <laughs> so become a vet, build and run your very own clinic, and strive to keep Brindleton Bay's fluffiest patients healthy. <gasps> Look at Welcome that. Welcome to the Pretty Paw Paw Clinic. Uh-oh, Noodles looks a bit <gasps> under the weather. Right this way, little fella. Oh my god. At the exam table, your sim can diagnose <gasps> no. a sickness and discover the proper treatment. That's so cool. An examination is stressful for pets. Keep them calm Aww. to ensure a proper exam. Mouth moths, uncontrollable Ooh. drooling, and stinky Yikes. fur. P.U. Diagnosis? Mild repugnitis. A healthy dose of parasite killer will clear that right up. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Over time, your vet skill will improve. You'll be rewarded with new abilities, objects, and a healthier business. Waiting room empty? Advertising is a great way to attract new patients. Woof, it's getting crowded in here. You'll want to keep an eye on your star rating. Ambiance, bedside manner, and pet stress levels are some of the factors that will affect your clinic's rating. A performance breakdown will let you know how your clinic is doing and areas where you can improve. That's One and cool. a half stars? Yikes. Add more exam tables to reduce wait times. Improve oh, your star so rating pretty. to unlock gameplay perks. As an owner, it's critical to keep your team on their A-game. You can train your employees, praise them, critique their performance, and even promote them. Oh, I'm so excited With for this. With proper training, your team can create medicine and special treats, <gasps> making surgeries no and exams easier. At the surgery station, scan patients to quickly diagnose and even cure afflictions. Aww. Fleas, glow nose, icy fur? The nose! Nope. Bucky here is in for a little preventative surgery. The old snip snip. Oh! Walk it off, champ. In The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, build, own, and run that. a vet clinic. Oh my god. Guys, that is the coolest thing ever. I'm gonna, oh, I'm so excited for this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and rewatch the trailer and I'm gonna break it down. We're gonna look at everything. I'm just, wow, this is so cool. Alright, so we get a closer look at Brindleton Bay here, which it looks so nice. Like I'm so excited. So this looks like it's another community lot here. And then we have a lighthouse as well. Um, the Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. Oh my god, it's coming so soon, guys. Like, I can't believe it. We've waited so long for this, and it's coming in a few weeks. Alright, this might be a bit too slow, but I just want to, like, take a look at everything that we have here. So, okay, so it looks like your pets can have cones on their heads after they get, you know, spayed, neutered. Uh, one thing that I mentioned in, I can't, I can't remember, I think it was my live stream new infos video. I mentioned that you're able to get them spayed, neutered, unspayed, and unneutered, and I believe that still stands. Um, I think I saw something, um on Twitter about it. Oh my god, the nose, the glowing nose, probably like the cutest thing ever. Oh my god. And this, oh my god, the clinic. Okay, so I think the clinic works kind of like Dine Out does. And we'll see later on um, if you guys noticed while we were watching the trailer. So it had like the whole review section that we'll see in a bit um, and the amount of stars. So I'm assuming it works kind of like how Dine Out did. Now I didn't play too, too much with Dine Out, so I'm not 100% familiar with how it works. But, uh, you know, I'm assuming it's going to be similar to that. We have illnesses. We have fleas. What was that? Slobbering? Something like that? Like, this is so cute. There's going to be a stream on Thursday about the vet clinic and all that. So I'm probably going to be making a video on that about any information that I learned from that. If you guys want to uh, stay tuned for that. Because there's probably going to be a lot of stuff that we're going to be learning then. Because we're obviously not going to learn everything just from this gameplay trailer. But, I mean, we've seen so much. Like, oh my god, look at this poor cat. Sick. 
I'm just gonna skip through this a little bit. I just wanna see. So we have, what was this? What do they call this? Moth something? That's kind of gross, not gonna lie. I, I've never seen a cat have that in real life, so I don't know. Then we have like the slobberiness. This is just so cool. I'm so excited that we have this because when I used to be younger, I wanted to be a vet, but after I saw them stick their fingers up in my dog's booty hole, I was like, nope, not for me. <laughs> not for me. Um, I'm just trying to like skip through this and just like show like the little things. Um, so we have a toy box here and I'm super excited about this fish tank. I talked about this in my last gameplay trailer overview. I'm super excited for this. Um, that looks like a vending machine or something from maybe pet stuff. I don't know. I don't know if that's new. Maybe? I have no idea. I'm, like, so oblivious to what stuff is new. I mean, some things I'll obviously figure out, like, are, like, they stand out to me that are new, but other things I'm just like, yeah, I do not know. Look at so many dogs and cats here. I love, oh my god, I can't wait for my world to be filled with them. I'm so excited. Oh, look at this dog. Oh my gosh. Right, so this is what I was talking about. So this is basically exactly how the dine-out restaurants work. So you have, like, you know, the place that you own, and then you... I'm guessing you're, you're able to hire employees and all that, too, then. Ooh, this is going to be really interesting. I didn't think they were going to go this route for it, but it's kind. I kind of like how they're going about it. Oh, my God, the dog is blue. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, I can't wait to see the builds for vet clinics. Okay, so here we have... A re customer review so we have growth opportunities ambiance wait time and then excellence we have pet stress well this is cool I can't wait to play around with this for sure I can't I, well, I mean we're gonna see a lot of this in the stream as well coming up this Thursday probably gonna learn a lot there and look at all this stuff <gasps> we have like a dispenser thing here and then this thing is similar to what they have in the scientist career where they like experiment and make like um, different what are they called? Potions? Potions? Is that what they're called? I don't know. Something like that. Then we have the tables here uh, that you examine the dogs and or pets on. Oh, and this machine is so cool. So this one, you don't actually see the sim doing the surgery. The glow nose, I think, is like the cutest thing ever. Like, what? Like, oh my god. I love that so much. Oh, is he stinky or like shivering? I don't get what this is. Looks like it's like blue with clouds. This is her examining. Oh my god, that ring is so big. I just noticed. Oh, it's like, oh, do you see that? It's like a stork with the baby's thing and it's Xing it out, meaning that they just got spayed. Oh my god, or neutered. Oh, this face when he comes out. Oh wow. Oh, I can't believe we can actually have cones on their heads. I actually really like that. Look at that. That's so cool. Well, looks like that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out the stream that's coming up this Thursday. I'll leave a link to it down below if you guys are interested in going and checking it out. But other than that, that is all I have. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye guys.